It's a beautiful day at South Boston Speedway. And by the grace of God, it's 600 horsepower. Here is the pace of Attic, King of the Modifieds, powered by Dominion Energy. Matt Hirschman with the lead. Crumb drops in behind him. Lofton, Baldwin, Burt Myers, the top five side by side behind that. Ryan Newman on the outside of Will Lambros. Good battle there just outside the top five. Newman tries to cut down the racetrack. Can't do it just yet. Lambros backs up. Here comes Woody Pitcat as well on the outside. Woody getting it done like he always does. Uh, he just took me under his wing and explained the world of modified racing for me. So I'll be, you know, giving forever gratitude to the Barry family for all they did for me in my career. Almost three wide now. Oh, Barry in, the, in wall. the wall. On the outside of turn number four, he hit pretty hard there. I uh, wonder if there's any damage, and it is. We've got a Nerf bar rub on the right rear of that number eight car. That's not good. Smoke screen right behind that for Daniel Yates. Yates with now a PSR snout and tail end on that number 18 car, but will that tire hold up? I don't know. That's the big question. This is a fast racetrack, and you do not want to blow a right rear here. This is, people watching this at home don't realize how fast these modifieds go here. And now here comes Luke Baldwin to the inside of Carson Lofton. Battle is on for third place coming out of turn four. The teenagers going at it for that third spot. Baldwin on the inside, Lofton on the outside. The savvy veteran, the defending series champion, Burt Myers, just behind that. The preferred groove around this racetrack, certainly on the inside. Lofton trying to keep pace, but how long will he do it for? Side by side, these two young stars of the Smart Modified Tour putting on a show. Lofton now will try to file in behind him, but Burt sticks his nose in there, fills in that valuable real estate coming off of turn number four. Burt Myers gets the spot. We have a spin. Doug Kobe goes around in turn number two, put out the caution flag for the second time. The uh, barrels get a little tested there. Very slight impact. I was watching him as that car went around. Uh, oh. Did, oh, he backed up right into Matt Hirschman. Matt Hirschman, the leader, gets run into by the number seven NY of Doug Kobe. So now you got to ask, did Kobe's rear bumper hit the left front wow. and maybe alter the suspension on Matt Hirschman's car? The plot thickens here at South Boston Speedway. Hirschman and Crum once again. Watch Hirschman. He gets the jump there. That's exactly what happened last time. Can Crum stay with him? Right now, Hirschman, I'm sure, trying to feel out that race car. Crum on the outside. Battle for the lead here. Crum keeping the momentum on the outside. They call him the snake. Jay Crum going after the lead here at South Boston. He is trying with all his gusto on the outside, the hard way around the track. Now files in behind Hirschman's number 60. 15 year old. Oh, here comes Crum. Crum oh. on the inside of Matt Hirschman. Widen out these cameras. Battle for the lead just a little bit. Jay Crum takes advantage of lap traffic and goes into the lead in the King of the Modifieds. Here comes Baldwin as well. Baldwin and Crum, they go by Hirschman. It's Crum, Baldwin, and Hirschman now the top three. Um, just, just like sprint cars, Bob. You're seeing lap traffic play a role here and a significant role as Hirschman gets booted back to P3. Jay Crum took advantage. Hirschman now going to try to squeeze between the lap traffic right there on the outside oh, and oh, the inside. Oh, oh. Whoa, Nelly right now. Anxious moments for the top four in the base of King of the Modifieds. What a show. The fans are on their feet. Yellow flag is out. The fans are on their feet because that was one heck of a battle for the top three. Taking a look around the racetrack, we will let you know why this caution has been displayed at lap 73. Approaching the 50 lap to go mark in this race and what it is is the actual competition caution for the fuel window. Fans rise to their feet. The cars are back green. The King of the Modifieds is underway again. Remember what Brandon Ward wanted to do. He wanted to get out front to try to hold him up, try to equalize the disparity between older tires and newer tires. Matt Hirschman able to sneak into second. Great move for him. Now he's going for the top spot here in the King of the Modifieds. Hirschman out of Northampton in Pennsylvania on the inside of Winston-Salem's own Brandon Ward. They drag race down the backstretch in turn three and four. Matt Hirschman back to the top here at Sobo. He made that move and he made it quick. Pounced on the opportunity did Hirschman, the mud lane driver from Northampton, Pennsylvania. 
back at the point in this one. Think about it, 600 horsepower, 15 inch tires, ain't nothing like it in America. Gavick got to get out of the way, squeeze play oh, right oh, there for Luke Baldwin. That was by the hair of his chinny chin chin, and the fans notice it and they respect it. Lap traffic paying a big part in this race. Jam car right there, forcing the 12 up high. That gives daylight. <laughs> the crossover. Here comes the number 12 to the bottom for second place. Not surprised at all to see a little bump from Jake Crum to say, Brandon Ward, get out of the way. He gets by. Now Luke Baldwin gets by. Crum and Baldwin, second and third. But big money, Matt, oh. already checked out by about five car lengths. A little bump to the back bumper sends the 12 up a little higher than he wanted to go in turn number three and four. Jams that car deep into the turn in turn one. Luke Baldwin is ready to pounce. Got to be careful if you're Luke Baldwin because Jake Crum is known as the snake for a reason. He will bite you back in a hurry. <laughs> Luke Baldwin trying to get by on the inside, side by side. They rub nerf bars just a little bit. Crum lets him go. Will he repay him down in three? Jake Crum thinks better of it. Give P2 to the 17-year-old, Luke Baldwin. Definitely a disparity in years of experience <laughs> between Hirschman and Baldwin, but both names synonymous with modified racing both north and south. Little bump oh. right there from Luke Baldwin. Baldwin pushes Hirschman up the racetrack and takes the lead. Luke Baldwin to the lead and the king of the modifieds. 26 to go here in the king of the modifieds at Sobo. Great restart by the 7VA right there, getting to the loud pedal first and getting to it fast. Hirschman right behind him, side by side behind Luke Baldwin, coming off a of turn number four. Here's Pitcat as well, Baldwin with the lead. Hirschman almost got to his inside battle, still for second. Hirschman inside, little bobble right there. Jake Crum on the outside. Crum so strong on the outside. Newman trying to do the same thing in that shitty cooler's number two. It's not paying off. Side by side, though, is Ryan Newman and Woody Pitcat. Pitcat trying to get back Whoa. by the number two car in a battle for fourth. Had a couple cars go all over the place that will bring out the caution. Oh, Newman in the wall. Ryan Newman has hit the wall in turn number three. Big damage on the right side of the shitty coolers. Number two, Ryan Newman's bid to become king of the modifieds is over. We got 20 to go. Little push there from Matt Hirschman. Vaults the number seven just ahead of Jay Crum. Crum battles back valiantly on the outside with that number 12 machine. Woody Pitcat is there. Four wheel slide on that car a little bit coming off the corner. The top four side by side here at South Boston. Open wheel to open wheel. Nerf bar to nerf bar. One, two, three, four. Throw a blanket off of turn number four. Baldwin back up top. Hirschman trying to get below. Jake Crum almost oh. contact off a of turn number. Oh, oh big Crum. contact. Here goes everybody piling in. Oh, my. We've what got a the wreck. big one. The big one at South Boston, Bob. Green flag flies. Who's going to get 20 grand? The seven spun the tires, but he gets the traction. That counts and vaults him into the lead. Matt Hirschman to the second. Here comes Doug Kobe to the back side of the number 60. Give him the third spot as he sails that car off. Turn number four on the outside. Kobe says forget about the money. He wants the cloak. He wants the crown. He wants to be the king of the modifieds. Can he get it done? That car pushes way high off of turn number two. But if anybody can get it done, Kobe can wrestle that car around this racetrack. Right now, Luke Baldwin, 17 years old. Matt Hirschman in his tire tracks, stalking the back bumper of that 7VA. White flag is out. One more time around for a 17-year-old with such great legacy. Luke Baldwin, here he comes, Bob. In only his third career tour-type modified start, Luke Baldwin is the king of the modifieds. And it comes here at South Boston Speedway. 17 years old, third generation modified racer, and he gets it done.